welcome back to Sin's Arcade and to Cyber Knight's Flashpoint. My name is the Lord of Sin. When we last left off, we were playing as Wolfie Wolfie and we were in the safe house. So we're going to keep on keeping on from there. And there have been 43 updates on this game. 43 updates. The game isn't even 90 days old. And I, these aren't little bitty updates. These are big, substantial updates with a lot of content being added to the game as it's being fleshed out in, in early access. It is not one of those fly-by-night early access games. They're working really hard at it. So I highly recommend, if you like XCOM, if you like cyberpunk aesthetics, if you like the idea of taking a squad together and going on these cyberpunk runs and doing these missions um, to survive in the world and, and running your mercenary outfit so to speak or you know a cyberpunk mercenary outfit it's a heist rpg so eventually you're going to be doing heists anyway but we're going to catch up i think here with knuckles recovering from uh, her injuries oh, hold on we're going to start an interaction here then instead all right it's got some trouble on my gun roots says origami joe someone is shadowing the smugglers Sending or scouting out their route. Origami Joe says, I've got some trouble on one of my gun routes. Someone is showing this, shadowing the smugglers, scouting out their route. It's too pro to be some slag of gang lowlifes, and I can't afford a mess right now. Silk replies, So the job offer is to wipe these shadows off the map? Origami Joe says, I don't have Wolfie Wolf kind of money for this little problem. Wolfie Wolf replies, well, there are other ways you could make it worth our time. Origami Joe thinks about it. He says, we're in business, the three of us. We've got a vested interest in seeing these weapons flow. I'm not asking for much. Step in on this one, and I'll owe you a favor. Now, these favors are very important uh, in, the, in this world because you can utilize those favors for missions to, for leverage. Right, you can, uh, you can maybe I can call in and he can give me a security card clearance for uh, for an area that I need to go into, um, or he can help with getting specific type of ammunition that I need for one of my guns uh, that might be beneficial, or he's be, he'll be willing to to uh, sell us, um, you know, or or actually he maybe he can get it to where there's you know he can leverage some people out. And they're all taking breaks at the time when they, those those guards should be on duty. Any number of those things like that. You can cash it in when you're ready. And you know it'll be worth it. I need one of your crew. Someone who they'll know is a real professional. To guard the shipments for a time. If we refuse to help Origami Joe, we'll cut us off for a little while, but not forever. We're too good for a, of a customer for that. But if we help, well, we'll earn a favor. And again, those favors are powerful currency in the Underworld Network that we can cash in at a later time. So, I could say, can't you put some extra muscle on the trucks for a while? Must be a rival smuggler thinking it's time you bowed out. Or, the Under is no simple place. Who would know how to track your team? So, honestly, this is probably the best question right here. Someone who knows what they're doing down there. Those routes are treacherous. This team is made of four or five carrying backpacks on a four-mile slog. The route passes 100 meters below the dome's footing at, foot point, at Fort Point. Some of it is crawl space, and even some of it is swimming. Silk replies, so not a random voyeur then. Origami just says, <laughs> I appreciate your snark. You see why I need your help? All right, I could send somebody off on legwork. Let me see, who can I send? If I send Victor, he'll be out. Only one attempt. He's locked in for seven days. But I gain the favor with Origami Joe. If he fails, it's a risk of injury for up to seven days. Unable to ward off threats, you know, things turn violent. I'll be honest with you, as much as Knuckles would probably want to go because of how her advanced uh, health has deteriorated, but we're trying to keep her as healthy as possible. I honestly am going to go with uh, Victor. As a favor to you, you might we might be able to lend you an experienced hand. Good to be in business with you, Wolfie Wolf. 
time to break the news to Victor. Yeah, what's up? So, that's it. Look nasty and babysit some weapon mules? There's a little bit more to it than that. I see. Swim, crawl, and muck under dome for a week? Join the Merc Company, they said. <laughs> Wolfie Wolf says, Neither of us are in the mood to hear complaints, Victor. All right, all right. It's got to be worth something to you. Let me get my kit and change of clothes. Guess I'm going caving. Stay sharp, says Wolfie Wolf. What started as a bit of fun at spelunking could get ugly fast. All right, so that's where we are at there. We still have two injured. Wolfie Wolf is out. Hello, Miss Ryoki. All right, we're back with Cyber Knights Flashpoint version 1.33. I uh, had made the previous video a while back uh, and didn't get a chance to complete it, so we're going to continue that, that game going. We're still playing on normal difficulty. It's about 24th of March, 2231. Normal difficulty, and here's the game key as well. Uh, we are in version 1.3.3. The Grok kit is now live as well, but we're going to get to that next week on next Thursday, I believe it is. Uh, or, sorry, the uh, February 8th. Yeah, so about a week from now. Uh, and I will be uh, part taking part of a project with the uh, Tracy Brothers um, to cover some of that new tutorial that was added in the newest update, the Grok Kit update. You can check out the more information of that on Steam under Cyber Knights Flashpoint or going to the Sins Arcade Discord under Arcade Games and choosing this in uh, the uh, Cyber Knights Flashpoint uh, channel so you get kept up to date on all the things that are currently going on. So we have a new, uh, we're back here inside of the where the safe house, excuse me, and we have these new things that are going on. Now we have possible recruit here, um, but I also wanted to point out that you can actually show uh, how long ago these other things happened. So here's the previous things that happened. Um, and we're gonna get rid of that. So we have a possible recruit in four days, 12 hours um we have left uh we have the cube run and we have loophole heist that are both left over so the, the cube run is a basically a hacking hacking optional um natalia uh, and yeah, natalia has been watching this facility for a while warner braun is preparing to establish a new nano fab and are transporting blueprints and nbs cubes to the site in advance at the forges coming online with the cryo vaults already stocked, security is going to be tight, but the money could be good. As we are running this one ourselves, there is no payout except what we can steal and dump straight back to the block black market for profit. So this one doesn't get it's not we're we're not doing this job for someone else. It is strictly for us for us to gather the information. We have to have a require of a cyber knight, and then I don't know what peeps is, but that's funny. Uh, loophole heist. Um, this one is for Octane. This is the one going against the D Street Cartel. This is to pay off Octane or to basically, in, in lieu of paying the half a million or two million credits that we actually owe for the Quantum Rider um, surgery that was done for Wolfie Wolf so the Wolfie Wolf could become a Cyber Knight. Uh, in lieu of all of that payment, uh, then we would be working for Octane so we're getting that $2,000 debt forgiven in a boon right to complete with three or less security level I, that's new i didn't remember seeing that before and then we would earn an additional ninety two thousand for completing, completing all the primary objectives but it gives us additional plus 10 trust with octane that could go quite far especially if that uh uh relationship becomes very profitable for both sides right so before we get to this though let's go ahead and go back out Again, I'm only using the keyboard and mouse today, but we have a possible recruit in four days. We're just going to go ahead and jump to that now. <clears throat> Dade says, let me introduce Gemma. So, you ran recon for Los Agales raids and hit squads, says Wolfie Wolf. Gemma says, I'd like to say that I cased targets. Places, people, 
operations. Anything the team needed to know, entrance, exits, safety, or security routines, excuse me, Wolfie Wolf mentions Dade, said you were good at what you did, that you always noticed the most important things. I am good at what I do, says Gemma. That's why the bosses kept me so busy, even though I wasn't more than hired help. You never pledged to Lost V, says Silk, out of curiosity. <laughs> Gemma says, I'm sure they probably feel like I did. I hung around for enough for years. But to be honest, I never liked their larger agenda. Silk mentions, wait, what part wasn't to your taste? Gemma says, most of it. The drug running, the bravado, all of the fighting. And for what? Ward 4? Wolfie Wolf steps in. But you'd pledge to our agenda, Gemma? Gemma mentions and replies, I feel like my agenda and your agenda are much more aligned. So, yes, I would. Dade said, all the crews used to ask for you to run recon, says Wolfie Wolf. So, what makes you so good? Further define this mark by picking one of the following traits. So you get to choose this uh, the traits for your recruits, like in this specific portion here. So she either grouped uh, stealing things to survive, so she's a thief through and through, and that shows you what the benefit of having that it would be. Gemma, if you move quick enough, they never know you were there. Quiet, clever, so she gets this is thief, this is agility. And then I pay a lot of attention to details. It takes a real sleuth to properly case a joint. Plus one will and 3% legwork success. I'll be flat out honest with you. If she is as good as she says that she is, then the devil is absolutely in the details. And I think that this is going to be the best best option overall. So I'm going to choose that because it doesn't hurt to have two really powerful uh, hackers on the squad. The reason why, especially for this cube run coming up, for example, instead of having to take Dade, who may be out on a legwork, I can take Gemma or vice versa. So it pays to have options. It pays to have the ability to do, uh, be multifaceted and multitasking with a lot of your different people. And I just noticed they almost they have like the same arms or something. That's pretty close to it, though. Pretty cool. I pay a lot of attention to details, says Gemma. It takes a real sleuth to properly case a joint. Little details, big ta details. You can't afford to miss any of them. In our line of work, that can be the difference between a score and a disaster, replies Wolfie Wolf. So what do you think, Silk? Silk mentions steps in. I've got one more question. I want to know about your chameleon sheath. What? Dade said you recently had it spliced in. That's not cheap chrome. You don't earn that kind of money doing intel sweeps for a street game. So where did you get that money? And before you answer, let me be clear, says Wolfie Wolf. If you want into this company, trust is our baseline. So even if you don't like our, even if you don't like our own answer, it better be the truth. Now we further the define the Merck's backstory by picking one of these complications. And so it's good that they're adding the complications because let's face it, the reason why most people grow in is through some adversity, some challenge, something that uh, presents challenge to them that they have to overcome, that they have to grow. And that's what you want to do, is being able to, to understand that and the circumstances that led to you being who you are today, how you react to those challenges, those advers uh, adversities, that's what defines you ultimately, right? So... <clears throat> Gemma, it could be, I took a big risk on a personal job, but pulled it off without being made. I stole from the Q-Milieu uh, Syndicate. Or I got a lucky break off the street and did a few gigs for a mid-level Aerotech exec. He offered the game plan. Now I owe him some obligations. Or I sold out on one of my last uh, lost Zogalis bosses to a rival in the Finians, and I can't go back. Ooh, that one... That one might be spicy. Ooh, that one might be spicy. Although, if we do this one, that leads me to believe that this gives us an in towards the Aerotech executive. And we might be able to strong arm on them. Strong arm. Oh my goodness. Strong arm him or her. Yeah, him on that. Yeah, I can talk. 
Let me try that. We'll do that one. Is it good that you have connections? It is less good that we'd be sharing your in your obligations. Says Silk. Gemma replies, I'm sure the exec will have more work. It could be a profitable connection. That's my thoughts. That's the reason why I chose that. And eventually, Wolfie Wolf says, they'll want to call in on those obligations you owe them. That could be expensive, as they'll expect us to honor them. A private work soak? What do you think? Everyone in this business has something haunt someone or something haunting their past, says Silk. We've got to keep that in mind when weighing a new recruit. If we can't decide now, we can continue to review the recruit from the roster before making a final decision. I'm just going to go ahead and bring her on. Welcome to the team, Gemma. Let me run recon and stealth for your crew a few times, and you won't regret this, says Gemma. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to come back out. We're going to... Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. We're going to go ahead and override...